Hello, my name is Kalina Hiriza. I am an artist living and working in Milburn, New Jersey. I am very thrilled today to be here at the Paper Mill Playhouse introducing our new exhibit called Color Abstraction. Thank you so much and I hope everyone enjoys it. So I actually started um, doing art when I was quite young. This is back in my native country of Romania. I was about 11 years old and I can say I was creating very valuable stuff back then. However, there was a lot of learning involved and just like everybody going through art training, um, I did my drawing and sculpture and painting from portraits to landscapes to still lifes, everything um, that I had to do. And I have to say I enjoyed it very much. However, at some point in time, I felt the need to transition from that. I became a little bit more curious about the mediums I, I was using and what they would say on their own if I did a little bit less of the talking and more of the listening. So that was a, a very interesting time in my life when I, I felt the need to look a little bit deeper, to delve a little bit more into the unfamiliar territory, really with the goal of understanding myself a little bit better and, and you know all the unknown bits that make us who we are. So I decided to become a little bit more of a vehicle for my medium, for my paint in this case. Um, and really listen to what it had to say. So we started talking. And for everybody who knows me, I love to talk. My, my husband can attest to this. Um, and we, we started to chat for hours, hours on end. And the paint is really sometimes like, like a little child. You, you tell it to do something, and no matter how you express yourself, it just refuses. Um, so sometimes it was, it was a good chat, and sometimes it was a, a struggle. However, all of, these, all of these discussions lead to, to learning new techniques and how the paint behaves in its fluid state, in its dry state, when you mix it with different types of mediums, when you layer it, how the layers interact. So it's very, very interesting uh, in terms of a process for me, and I feel that it really allows me to, to, to really dive deep and discover not only the, the medium and the paint and the canvas and how it behaves, but just new things about myself. And ultimately, this is what I would love for, for viewers to, to look at my art to, to feel. The, the one thing I don't want is for them to be left cold. They could love it, which is preferable, uh, and they could hate it. However, I want them to feel something. Yes, absolutely, and um, I think it can be quite difficult for, um, for, for some people to look at abstract art and there's nothing immediately apparent there. You might love the colors, you might love the composition, but you have no idea what the artist had in mind. Um, and sometimes that is the case, it is true. However, in other cases, there is something specific that we are trying to achieve such as in the case of this painting right here behind me called Bang Bang. And the inspiration here is actually a song that I absolutely love. It's Bang Bang, You Shot Me Down by Nancy Sinatra. It's an old song. Um, go ahead and take a listen if, if you don't know what, what it's about. But in essence, it's a love story. It's a love story that spans um, a long period of time and it begins in childhood between a boy and a girl. So I, my way of, of representing those characters, very, very small here, a black dot for the boy and a white dot for the girl, because in the song, um, the, 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 the lyrics say, um, he were black and I were white. And this is, this is my, my little tiny way of saying, this is a love story that happens between these two people. But that was not what was interesting to me. What was interesting was the love story. And um, I'm not going to go into extreme detail here, but everything that is in the song is on the canvas from um, the fun times when there were kids, and those are the, the pastel colors, you know, all happy times, just, just fun and games, into the moments that become a little bit more, more tense. Um, when, when, you know, after they married, the, the, 
um, the, the boy leaves, um, she never knows why, and there's that tension, there's the blacks, you know, for the, for the down times, and there's the whites for the good times, for the peace, and there's definitely a lot of red, uh, because we're talking about love here. And love to me is not, um, is not Santa Claus red. Love to me is more like the color of wine. And this is why you see these particular hues on this painting.